Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. The video that I have for you today is one that you've probably seen 20 versions of this winter. It's my favorite vanillas. I have 15 vanilla centric, vanilla focused, vanilla heavy fragrances for every kind of personality and every occasion. I have gotten more into vanilla as the months have gotten colder. I'm filming this at the end of January, 2022. And here where I live, January and February are usually the coldest months out of the year. There's something really comforting about vanilla that draws me to fragrances with them. But I didn't just wanna bring you like the super sweet gourmand vanillas. I have some interesting vanillas in this lineup that may take you into the warmer months here. Or if you're in a different part of the world, maybe you are in your warmer months and might wanna be reminded about some vanillas that you can wear right now. The first vanilla I wanna feature is one that for me, I think has a really classy smell and a timeless scent to it. It's one that was hyped up when it first came out and then people felt like it didn't have a lot of longevity or wasn't unique enough and so you didn't hear about it much again. I adore it, I think it's beautiful and it is La Nuit Tresor Nude. This is vanilla and there's some rose and coconut in here. I find it to be a really smooth, creamy, pretty vanilla that works in many, many occasions. In terms of longevity for me, I get about a half a day out of this. And what I mean by that is when I, when I use the term half a day, I spray very early in the morning, usually around five, six, maybe even seven o'clock at the latest. And for me, if something lasts me through lunchtime, I'm pretty happy with it. That's about a half a day for me. And I have lunch in the 12 to one o'clock range. So this is one that goes to a about then and then you do have to respray. Is it an especially unique fragrance? I don't know that it's super unique, but what I will say about this is that I think it's really great for multiple occasions. It's one that's safe for an office setting, one that's safe for an occasion with your family, or even a date night, or even hanging around at home. This is just like one of those pretty inoffensive, sweet, classy, vanillas that has a hint of coconut and some floral in it as well. And this bottle is just so cute. So this is a winner in my book. Next is a vanilla for when you wanna be sweet and soft and smell good without knocking out the whole room. I have fresh cream, warm cashmere from the Philosophy line for you. It is probably the only fragrance from the Philosophy range that I really love enough to have a full bottle of. I have tried others from this line and while I find them pretty, I'm not sure that they're exactly for me. This one is, it is like a cashmere sweater in a bottle. You get vanilla, of course, you get some coconut. There's even a little sandalwood in here. And what you get is this, it, and it's kind of like a skin scent in that it's strong when you first put it on and it dies down fairly quickly, stays close to the skin, another sort of half a day scent, and then you have to respray. This isn't gonna take you a, a whole day. It's not a beast mode fragrance or anything like that. But there is this beautiful, smooth sensuality to this that would be appropriate for various age ranges. It's not so grown up that a younger person would feel uncomfortable wearing it, assuming that they wanted something more youthful. There's a youthfulness to this, and it also has this nice, soft, subtle sensuality that makes it appropriate for various kinds of occasions, especially for people who wanna smell delectable, smooth and pretty, but don't, like I said, want to project out very far. This is one of those fragrances that's great for going to movies or going to a dinner situation where you're with people that may be offended by strong smells or sensitive to smells. I doubt that they would barely notice that you had this on, except that they came in for a hug. They would think that you smelled soft and pretty and fluffy like a cashmere sweater. Next is one that had a very big moment on YouTube a while back. And then as people got a hold of it, you know, there's that whole hype around a new fragrance. People have to have it, they have to review it, and then they get tired of it. 
Well, <laughs> I don't get tired of those. If they're good, they're good and I wanna keep them for a long time. And this is one of those, I got a decant of this from Joss at Joss's Fragrance Mixology and fell in love and knew that I had to have a full bottle. It's Zara, a sweet pastry in Paris. This is one of those fragrances that I think just has like a really, really, it can create a really strong scent memory or evoke a strong memory in you. It smells to me exactly like a delicious lemon bar fresh out of the oven. Like when it, how it smells when it's still hot. There's the lemon that's coming up and then there's this like powdery sugariness also with it. Uh, some people find this a little bit screechy. I do not at all. I think it is just nothing but amazing and delicious and I wanna douse myself in it. Uh, yeah, the lemon is definitely strong in here, but the sweetness, the powderiness is all accompanied by this really lovely, round, delicious, luscious vanilla. I think this is wonderful. And if you're a gourmand lover and you want a cozy bookstore with a pastry and a coffee kind of situation, you want that sort of feeling in your fragrance, this is something you may want to consider finding. I believe it's discontinued, but you can usually find some floating around Mercari or some other sites like that. For those of you that would be interested in a vanilla that's more complex than your typical vanillas out there on the market, I suggest trying Tangier Vanille by Erin. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this fragrance and I'm not sure why because I think it's really beautiful in a subtle way. It's musky and it's floral. I believe there's a rose note in here and maybe some other florals. And um, so you get this woody, complex floral vanilla that's wonderful for, I think, settings where you wanna smell sophisticated, but ladylike. I would highly suggest it. I think it's about moderate, you know, longevity and projection and so forth, but I really adore it. I don't think of this as a summertime fragrance, although of course, wear what you want whenever you want. I really see this as like a late fall or early spring kind of fragrance. At least I think it would shine the most there, particularly because it's deeper and muskier uh, and has those sort of woody undertones to it. A beautiful vanilla, highly underrated. Tangier Vanille. For my fragrance friends out there that may want a fragrance that has some vanilla in it, but that's subtle and has timeless beauty, you don't necessarily want to stand out from the crowd, but you do want to smell nice. I would suggest Yves Saint Laurent Manifesto. This, when I first purchased it, I have to admit, I wore it the first time and I thought this is nice, but I don't understand what all the hype is about. The more that I sat with this and the more that I tried it, and you can see I put a bit of a dent in it, and you know that I have a pretty, <laughs> pretty large collection, so that's saying a lot. This is one of those fragrances that you can douse yourself in. I think some people may think it's a little strong. I think it's very soft and subtle and elegant. It has some florals in it. It comes across a little bit soapy, not tremendously soapy in the sense that it feels like you have aldehydes on, uh, but it's enough soap that it's like a clean, subtle vanilla with some hints of green, but it also has sweetness because of tonka bean in the base. This fragrance reminds me of if you had a fuzzy blanket that you wrapped yourself in while you were wearing a nice, clean, floral, sweet fragrance, the scent that would be left behind on that blanket might be what this smells like. It's just a really cozy, but elegant, clean smell. If you want a happy, upbeat vanilla that is ladylike, Shalimar Souffle or Souffle Intense might be a good choice. It's got two types of vanilla, Tahitian and Indian vanilla in it. There's a big lemon note at the top and I believe some other citruses like oranges and so forth. And there's a nice muskiness to this. But by and large, this is a, hap a happy fragrance that makes me think of fluffy clouds lifting up into the air and one that I think would play well in all seasons. 
really delightful in the winter as it hits cold air. You know, if you want one of those clean but musky fragrances for winter, this might be one to look into. If you want something that's happy and appropriate for summer but has some, some depth and roundness to it, you may wanna think about this one here. So this would be like a citrus musky vanilla that is light and fluffy and happy. Then if you wanna smell like a snack, you've seen a million of those videos, meaning you you want to smell delectable, super gourmand, a little sultry and sexy, give Gourmand Kiss from Alexandria Fragrances a try. This is inspired by Feve Delicious, which I have sampled and they're very similar. Not, you know, one is not spot on for the other, but I love this. I can see myself going through several bottles of this. It's got a little bit of chocolate, a lot of caramel and praline, and some other spices. And it's also got tonka bean and of course, vanilla. It is just a really sexy, sultry scent. You put this on and you feel a little, a little bit like a subtle vixen. Is there a subtle vixen? Can you be a vixen and be subtle? Maybe just a vixen. You feel like a vixen of some kind. What's a vixen? Let's look that up. <laughs> Yeah, this has definitely some serious, sexy base to it. Yep, pretty inexpensive. This is like a 30 mil bottle that I think I got when they're running their sale. Wait till they're running their sale for 20% off. I probably got this bottle for in the 30-ish dollar range, something like that, worth every penny. If you want a vanilla that's very, very different than just about any vanilla out there on the market, try Metalik from Tom Ford. Some people have a rough time with this fragrance or feel like it doesn't last long or it's not for them. It might be because it's weird and I like that it's weird. There's something about this fragrance that reminds me of electronica music, I don't know why I make that association. Yes, electronica music is music, just like this is a fragrance, but it really is off in its own category. So I can't really describe why, but if you think about how electronica music makes you feel, the mood that it puts you in, that's what I associate with this fragrance. I do love this bottle that's all silver with the gold plate on it for the fragrance. It is altahitic, so you get a lot of almost like clean laundry notes in there, but you absolutely get the vanilla on the dry down. There's a heliotrope note in here that adds some powderiness to this. So it's clean and it's powdery and it's sweet and it's a hint floral and it's a hint metallic. It reminds me in the best way of like when you hold on to a metal railing, like at an amusement park or something like that, and it's hot, something about the like molecules in the metal or whatever. Somebody give me a scientific term for this, how it makes your hands smell. Imagine that that smell is a really beautiful fragrance. <laughs> like if you turn that into a gorgeous fragrance with some soap added, with some powderiness and with a lot of sweetness. That's what I get out of this. Give this a try. It is the electronica of the fragrance world in a good way. Let me also say this, cause the image just came to mind and it fits. This is like the Edward Scissorhands of the fragrance world. If you imagine how Edward Scissorhands, the character, if you haven't seen the movie, it's one of the coolest movies ever. You know, he's running around with his, his little scissor hands and all of that, how he might smell if he were a fragrance and smelled good. Boom. Another underrated fragrance. Well, some people are talking about it, but not everyone. Not that everyone needs to talk about every fragrance, but this one in particular deserves a lot of attention because it is a gem and it's very affordable. It is Tocad by Rochus. The bottle is not my favorite. I don't hate it, but it's quite bizarre. It looks very circus-y to me, like Piccadilly Circus kind of thing. <laughs> but this fragrance is floral. I get a lot of rose out of this, but there's also an iris note in here that I think you can pick up a lot. It's powdery, it's vanilla, it's sweet, it's clean, it's green, it's all of those things at the same time. This is a really sophisticated vanilla 
that I would recommend for people who are not afraid of more mature fragrances. I'm not saying that it smells old fashioned because it does not at all. In fact, it smells, I have a little bit here, not to compete with my scent of the day, which I'll talk about in a minute. There's just something, it's, it's green. Green stands out the most to me. Green, floral, all sort of um, on a bed of this really nice, clean, fresh vanilla fragrance. Next, if you want a vanilla that has some oomph and some seriousness to it while still being light in texture. Texture is important in a perfume for me, a fragrance because I want the, the heaviness of the fragrance to match the mood or the occasion for the day. So if I'm going just shopping, I want something a little lighter and more fun. I mean, I wear anything anywhere, right? <laughs> but, um, and if you want a deeper, darker, heavier, denser fragrance, like for evening, that's a certain kind of fragrance. A fragrance that has a toe in both worlds. It's both light in texture and airy and has a little bit of seriousness to it is is Divine Vani from Essential Parfums. This is a vanilla that when I first tested it, seemed super light. The more I've had the bottle, the more it sort of sat on my shelf, I can smell more and more a little bit of incense and like a smokiness to it and some spices. There's some cinnamon in here and there's a little bit of an aromatic accord as well. A really light, simple, clean, linear vanilla note in here. Vanilla accord, vanilla note. One that I could see playing well with suits if you want to be formal, like for a meeting situation, and could also play well for evening affairs if you wanted something that was not a knockout fragrance that someone would have to smell as they come in close to you, think about Divine Vanille. If you want a fresh out of the shower vanilla that has a little bit of body to it but stays on the lighter side and you probably won't smell like anyone else because a lot of people don't know about this or have it or think about it, it's Yope Le Bon. This is one that is in that sort of hidden gem or affordable gems category. Some people do talk about this, but not a lot. This is an eau de parfum that smells like you're fresh out of the shower clean. There's aldehydes in here, but there's also some woodiness that gives this fragrance some depth. And of course, this beautiful vanilla it changes as it dries down on you. It comes on really soapy clean, stays clean throughout the life of the fragrance, but the sweetness of the vanilla mixed with the woodiness uh, shows up more as the fragrance begins to settle on your skin. It's long lasting and it's super affordable. I can't even tell you what I paid for this little bottle. It was some insanely affordable amount. So check this one out. Next is a fragrance that makes me think of Maleficent where Angelina Jolie played that character in the live action film Maleficent. And it's none other than Mugler's beautiful aura. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration. The Eau de Toilette is different. This one is heavier on the vanilla. I, ca I call this affectionately. <laughs> my Pepto-Bismol fragrance, because it has a little bit of a Pepto-Bismol, medicinal, clean, green thing happening. I like the smell of Pepto-Bismol. I know, you're judging. You're like, what, she's crazy. Who wants to smell like Pepto-Bismol? Give it a try. <laughs> You'll smell like the best part of Pepto-Bismol, plus this really lush greenness, plus this beautiful vanilla. I think of this as a bit of a man killer because when I wear it, my husband goes crazy over it, which is interesting because the first time I tried it, I just knew he would hate it. I knew he would hate it. And in fact, it was the opposite. He was like totally enchanted with the fragrance. It performs well. This bottle is so quirky. It sits on its side, which I don't love, but it looks like so many thing, it, things. It looks like the horns of Maleficent in the movie. It also looks like a bustier. It looks like a badge. It looks like an emoticon. It looks like it's gonna come to life and eat you in a horror movie. <laughs> I really enjoy the fragrance and the bottle too. It is one of the more unique fragrances in my collection. There isn't much that smells like this. Next I have for you a fragrance that really reminds me of like a creamy fragrance that would do well on the beach. There's something about this fragrance that's a little bit woody in all the right ways, but what I get most from it is 
coffee, I get a nutty accord, and I get vanilla, and it is beautiful. Even though there's no coconut in this fragrance, it does remind me of like creamy coconut at the beach. And it's Vanille Cafe from Comptoir Sous Pacifique. I think this is a beautiful fragrance. It smells so good on me and is great for layering. Like I said, you get this really soft coffee in it and there's an almond note. It's, it's a pretty one. It's a pretty one. And it's deep um, and it's sensual, but in a very innocent way. It's not like a super sexy fragrance. There's just a little bit of soft come hither in all the right ways in here if you wanna be a little bit coy, but still be sensual. This is a good one. You know how you go to a beach that has woods in front of it before you get to the beach and you have to go through a path and there might be some cedar trees or maybe even some pine trees there or something like that. There's sort of a woodiness in the air and there are coconut smells and beachy like lotion smells and maybe you have a cup of coffee in your hand and all of that is sort of meshing together into a scent memory captured in a bottle called Vanille Cafe. A gem. Next is that powerhouse of a vanilla. If you do want to take over a space and you want to make sure everyone knows what you're wearing and that it's a vanilla fragrance, you want want. You want want by D squared. Yes, we've talked about this bottle and how much I cannot stand this cap. That's a whole different look, right? And then <laughs> why? What design team thought of this craziness? But this is a powerful vanilla. It's powdery also and spicy is how I would describe it. There's ginger and neroli and some other notes in here that give this a little bit of like a spicy, citrusy little thing happening. Like the vanilla is really strong and potent and powerful and it's sprinkled by that citrus. So this is gonna be like a weird association and if you have want and this sounds weird to you, just hang on there. There's something in here that reminds me of the potency of Eternity by Calvin Klein. They don't smell the same. I'm not saying that, but there's something about whatever makes Eternity that like powerhouse projecting fragrance that can be overwhelming. It's that same kind of feeling with want, but they don't smell alike. If that makes sense to you, drop me a note in the comment. But this is a beautiful fragrance, one that you really need to be in the mood for um, because it can, be, it can be overpowering. It can be a little cloying if you're not in the mood. Spray lightly, a beautiful fragrance if you can get your hands on it. It's been discontinued, but check Amazon, check the gray market, check Mercari and places like that, eBay. I have an honorable mention and then my scent of the day, which is probably my favorite vanilla of all time. But my honorable mention is Laura Mercier. It's from the old Gourmand collection and it's Ombre Vanille. This is an absolutely delicious fragrance. It reminds me of like coconut mixed with vanilla ice cream mixed with a little hint of floral and like department store perfume. If <laughs> you mashed all of that together and made it a really cozy, delicious fragrance, it's this. My issue is it doesn't last the longest. I don't know that I even get a half a day out of this, maybe like three hours-ish at the most. So you kind of have to douse yourself in this. And I don't care for the bottle. I think it's a really lazy bottle for as much, they were charging for this fragrance when it first came out. But a really beautiful vanilla that is just tasty as can be. Another sort of um, cozy sweater vanilla fragrance uh, if you are interested in that sort of thing. And then the queen of all vanillas, no denying, at least for me in my book, is my beautiful scent of the day, which is probably a lifer in my collection. It is Dior Addict, the queen herself. Listen, folks, I don't like to use the following words a lot, even though I sometimes use them. If you want to smell rich, here you go. The reason I hate that phrasing so much is, have you been around a bunch of very wealthy people lately? Do they smell like anything in particular? It's such a weird thing to say, right? <laughs> but this is a very opulent, decadent, thick, thick fragrance. This is a beautiful evening fragrance, super cloying in the summer, 
Don't wear this in the heat, you've been warned. <laughs> it is a very thick, heavy vanilla and tonka bean fragrance with what I think is just like the slightest hint of floral and spice. Very, 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 very light, but a lot of, I think, orange blossom in here. And then I had the nerve to layer it today as though it's not strong enough on its own with Vanilla Musk, which is a fragrance oil that I picked up from Ulta. A really sweet, delicious uh, fragrance oil underneath this. And boy, do I smell great today. Anytime I wear this out in public, not anytime, let's back that up. <laughs> Sometimes when I wear this out in public, people comment people comment. They will come up and say, what are you wearing? It smells so beautiful. And I have literally had someone tell me, you smell like a rich woman. <laughs> Again, you know, whatever. But I, I love this. It is a sexy, beautiful fragrance. It is very grown up. If you like younger, lighter smelling fragrances, please do not mess with this. She's not playing. This is not playing. This is coming for every man's heart in your area. I mean, people you walk by and folks will be wondering what you're wearing. So this is the queen of vanillas to me, a lifer. And that is my vanilla video. Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you have any of these? Do you like them? Did I choose well? What do you think? Thank you so much for watching. Take care, friends.